they have a history dating back more than seven and a half thousand years. As autumn rolls in, fields across the Midlands, like this one in Burton-upon-Trent, are packed with pumpkins. Their flesh full of flavour, their seeds are so versatile. It didn't get off to a great start because it was so dry earlier on in the year, but um, they've had just about the right amount of rain at the right time and they've caught up since, so it's, it's a good pumpkin harvest this year. But one study has found a terrifying 12.8 million pumpkins are expected to be left uneaten this Halloween in the UK alone. Three in five people aren't aware that pumpkins from the supermarket used for carving are totally edible. Every pumpkin eaten is a step towards the 6.6 .6 million tonnes of food that goes to waste from our home each year. But it's not just an environmental problem. Um, the average household throws away £730 worth of food each year so um, it's quite a compelling uh, cost saving benefit there as well. So waste not, want not. All the middles out, yep. we're going to kind of get rid of that bit, pretend that's not there. We're in the kitchen with executive chef Elliot Grover cutting and carving. We're going to roast this in the oven to get a nice caramelisation. Determined to squeeze every little bit of flavour out of this seasonal squash. We're going to add a bit of the puree we made a moment ago so we'll do one or two spoonfuls. Lovely, look at the colour of that, it's fantastic. It is so good, it's so underused and so nutritious. We just need to get it, take it home, cut it up, put it in the oven and see what we can do. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. On the menu, a quick and easy risotto. Risotto is one of those really autumnal dishes, a fair bit of butter, a bit of cheese, really flavoursome as well. It is indeed, but you can also take the cheese out. You don't have to do cheese and butter, yep. it could be vegan. Why aren't people using pumpkins? Is it a fear of not knowing what to do with them? Or? I think people just don't understand how to use it. Um, and it's just about learning. Obviously, there's so many things you can do. 20 minutes later and an essential taste test. It looks fantastic. It smells amazing. So how does it taste? Oh, it's incredible. Really, fantastic. really good. It's hardly surprising it's such a hit with the diners here as well. It's claimed there are over 140 types of pumpkin, all shapes, all sizes, no spooky surprises. The humble pumpkin is so much more than just a scary face. Matt Price, ITV News.